Cascading style sheets help web developers create websites that present content in a creative way. You can also do that by applying styles to HTML elements. This is the second episode of Pixelate Academy's CSS series. And in this episode, I'll teach you the syntax of CSS, how to create comments, and CSS case sensitivity. So stick around to the end. In the first episode, I've defined what CSS is and the three ways to add it to your HTML. You can watch that by clicking the link shown at the top right of this video. CSS consists of a set of rules called CSS rules, which are interpreted by a web browser and then applied to the respective HTML elements. A CSS rule has two main parts, a selector and a declaration. Note that there can be multiple declarations for a selector. The selector specifies the element the CSS rule applies to. In the example shown, this rule will be applied to the H1 element. After the selector, the text inside the curly braces are called the declaration groups. Each declaration contains the CSS property and the value separated by a colon, and ends with a semicolon. The CSS property is the style attribute you want to apply to the HTML element. This could be the font, color, background, size, and a lot more. Each property requires a value. In our example, the color property has the value blue and the text align property has the value center. In the browser that reads the CSS rule will display your heading one with color blue and the text will be aligned to the center. A tip for you guys, to make your CSS rules readable, put your CSS declaration on a new line. Our next topic is CSS comments. But before that, I'd like to quickly thank you for watching our videos. If this video has helped you in any way, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and share this to your friends. Comments on source code make it easier to understand what the purpose of a certain section is. It will help other developers or future maintainers understand what you are trying to do with the CSS. Comments are very important for programmers and they are ignored by browsers. So your comments will not appear on the user interface. A CSS comment begins with a forward slash followed by an asterisk and ends with an asterisk followed by a forward slash. In our example, you can see that you can add a single line comment or a multi-line comment. You can also comment out a part of your CSS for debugging purposes. Let's try that by commenting out the CSS rule for the paragraph element. By the way, I'll link my examples in the description so you can see and practice with it. Lastly, we'll talk about the case sensitivity of CSS. CSS property names and values are not case sensitive. This means that browsers will still apply your CSS rules even if the property or value is not in the correct format. But CSS selectors are case sensitive. An example would be the class selector. The first selector shown is in lowercase, while the other one is in camel case. These selectors point to two different HTML elements. Therefore, to be on the safe side, you should always assume that properties, values, and selectors are case sensitive. In our next video, we'll talk about the different types of CSS selectors. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notified once we upload that video. Before you go, I'd like to invite you to join our private group on Facebook to get expert advice on any questions you have about web development, mobile development, UI design, and user experience. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for watching, Pixelators!